Well, folks, our great cultural arbiters have decided that all standards, all decency, all reality must be completely discarded. So must comedy, apparently. SNL has decided they are no longer going to even try to be funny. They're just going to trot out some bad trans propaganda. There's a poll from YouGov from the last week. And here's what it shows. Here's the question. Who should be allowed to attend drag shows? Now, normal human beings might say you have to be an adult to attend, you know, a sexualized man prancing around in women's garments and twerking. Perhaps you should be an adult to attend that. Like that's, by the way, that happens to be the position of 52% of people who are independent, politically independent. Another 9% of those people say they should be banned altogether, like no drag shows at all. Okay, so that'd be 61% of independents say either they should be restricted to people who are over 18 or they should be banned. Among Democrats, 39% say, 39% say they should be available to everyone. Drag shows should be available to everyone, regardless of age. You should bring your two-year-old to a drag show. Say almost four in 10 Democrats. Accompanied, by the way, by 53% of gay, lesbian, and bisexual people. And among Republicans, obviously, as you would imagine, only 8% of Republicans say that these should be allowed for everyone. I have no idea who the 8% of Republicans are. 58% say that they should be restricted to people who are above the age of 18. At six in 10. But the fact that four in 10 Democrats think that it's fine for like a two-year-old to go to a drag show is insane to me. But these are the people that the Democratic Party is now serving. That is their chief constituency. And so this means that they have to fight back on every front. And this is particularly true on the cultural front. I mean, it's true from the top to the bottom of, of pop culture. So Bill Gates, for example, it now comes out, is funding millions of dollars to an NGO claiming that kids are born sexual and that 10-year-olds should learn about commercial sex work. According to Fox News, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation donates millions of dollars annually to a non-governmental organization called International Planned Parenthood Federation, which, of course, is related to Planned Parenthood. It's a separate entity from the U.S. nonprofit, but it wields significant influence on global sex education. They have 120 independent organizations in over 146 countries, and they've received 80 million bucks from Gates. The World Health Organization also gives money to them. A toolkit released in 2017 showed an insight into how the NGO teaches sex ed to kids around the globe. Quote, sexual activity may be part of different types of relationships, including dating, marriage, or commercial sex work, among others. This is what apparently kids under 10 should be taught. Children under 10 should also be told, quote, as you grow up, you might start to be interested in people with diverse gender identities. The IPFF, the IPPF rather, suggested in multiple instances that children are born sexual. Quote, children under 10 should be taught that sexuality is a part of you from the moment you are born. Your sexuality develops and changes throughout your life. By, by the way, this is just, I'm sorry, that's, that's such stupid garbage. Sexuality, like, have you met a baby? Like, meet a baby. Are those particularly sexual beings? To you? If so, then you should go to jail. There's something wrong with you. But again, this is now penetrated to the last vestiges of our pop culture. Presumably, this is why SNL is now featuring, I don't know when SNL decided they were going to be like the less funny version of MSNBC, but this is what, they do now. So apparently there's a person on SNL, Saturday Night Live, named Molly Kearney. Molly Kearney is doing a really bad Chris Farley cosplay here, cosplay, and um, and is quote unquote non-binary, by which we mean that Molly Kearns is a, is a woman. That's, that's what non-binary means. It doesn't exist. So Molly Kearney is uh, going to lecture you on Saturday Night Live about trans kids. They say, oh, the hilarity. Oh, the hilarity. So she has now entered the Hannah Gadsby versus Samantha B sweepstakes of comedy death. Here we go. Introducing SNL's first non-binary cast member. It's Molly Carney. <laughs> Made it. Thank you, Mr. Chair. She's imitating Chris Farley. There are now over 14 states that have passed bills restricting health care for trans kids. Listen to that, Michael. Yeah. Restricting health care for kids. For some reason, there's something about the word trans that makes people forget the word kids. If you don't care about trans kids' lives, it means you don't care about frickin' kids' lives. Wow, wow. So much funny, man. Wow. Wow, so much hilarity. I am! And also, my legs are going numb and I might pass out! Okay, so, uh, the original Chris Farley was funnier. We'll get to that in just a moment. First, you may have noticed that prices of essential goods are not coming down anytime soon. You need to start looking at ways that you can cut costs. One of the ways you can do that, make the switch on over to Pure Talk. Pure Talk saves the average family over $900 per year. You can get the same coverage you're used to at half the rate you're currently paying. Not only will you save money, you'll also get the satisfaction of knowing you're supporting a great American company. The CEO and chairman of Pure Talk is a U.S. military veteran. 
When you become a Pure Talk customer, you're given the option to support America's Warrior Partnership, which is an organization that works to prevent veteran suicide. I'm a customer of Pure Talk. They don't drop calls. Their 5G network is excellent. It's actually using the same tower network as one of the big guys. We've got a range of affordable plans to choose from. You can find the perfect option for your needs. Get unlimited talk, text, plenty of data for just 30 bucks a month, no contract. Switch on over to Pure Talk in as little as 10 minutes while keeping your phone and your phone number. Their US-based customer service team makes the switch super simple. Go to puretalk.com, enter promo code Shapiro, save 50% off your very first month of coverage. That is puretalk.com. Promo code Shapiro. Pure Talk is simply smarter wireless. Make the same switch that I did. Head on over to puretalk.com. Enter promo code Shapiro and save 50% off your very first month of coverage. Uh, well, I have a problem in my life, okay? There's, here's the problem. I hate vegetables. They're horrible. Yeah, I, I'm a deep religious believer, but also if I were going to be agnostic, it would just be because only a cruel God would make vegetables the thing that you actually have to have in order to remain healthy because vegetables are just awful and terrible. Well, if you hate vegetables like I do, or maybe you don't hate vegetables, you just don't have the ability to cram as many vegetables in your maw as necessary to keep yourself healthy, you need to check out Balance of Nature. Balance of Nature fruits and veggies are a great way to make sure that you're getting essential nutritional ingredients every single day. Their capsules are packed with 100% whole food that you can take at any time. Balance of Nature uses a cold vacuum process that preserves the natural phytonutrients in 16 whole fruits and 15 whole vegetables and encapsulates them for easy consumption. Fruits and veggies are loaded with vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants that are essential for optimal health. They can help boost your immune system, improve digestion, reduce inflammation, and lower the risk of chronic diseases like heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. Balance of Nature sent a bunch of their product down to the studio for my team to try. We all love them. I was really excited to find out that the product is actually certified kosher. Go to balanceofnature.com. Use promo code Shapiro for 35% off your very first order as a preferred customer. That is balanceofnature.com. Promo code Shapiro for 35% off your first preferred order. But this is the entire culture. The entire culture is now pushing the idea, of course, that boys can be girls, girls can become boys. And that if you oppose this agenda, then this means that you are stupid and transphobic. This is what stupid person Sonny Hostin had to say on repository of stupidity, the view. Collective IQ 8. They also are making this out to be a trans. It's, it's, it's a, this is a transphobic issue, right? We know that this country is highly transphobic. It's so, it, and it's unbelievable to me that this still goes Let's on. Let's say that many of the transphobic people get the attention. I doubt that the country's as transphobic I, I hope, as. I hope the country is not yeah. as transphobic well, as it appears to be, but trans rights are under yeah. attack yeah. all over the place. Yeah. Now, this is, and people are saying, this is a, an American beer. This is a Belgian company, okay? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not even like, Save we can the problem. Anheuser-Busch is a Belgian company that doesn't only sell Bud Light, but sells, like, beer in, like, 130 countries and stuff. And, like, all Different over the world. Of yes. And all kinds of beers. Yeah. So that's why it's so dumb to me. I Oh, it's so dumb to you. I mean, if something is dumb to Sonny Hostin, we can immediately assume it's one of the most brilliant things that's ever been done because she is one of the dumber people on planet Earth is Sonny Hostin. But again, this is the idea that if you oppose a major mainstream American brand trying to trans the culture, then this means that you are, you are dumb in some way. Also, there's nothing to worry about, guys. There's nothing to worry about, which is presumably why Sam Smith is being treated as a hero. So, so you all remember Sam Smith from uh, the Grammys where he performed as Satan. Well, he's still doing that routine. Uh, I, what is the crowd for this? Honestly, who, who finds this stuff like quality entertainment? Not only is it tired and, and boring, it's also like absolutely horrifying. I just wonder, like Sam Smith claims now that he is what, gender non-binary? He keeps switching his identity every couple of minutes. So he's, he's a gender non-binary man or something, um, uh, which, but, he's, but he's still gay, right? I mean, he, he like is a man who wants to have sex with, with other men. I have a question for gay dudes. Is this like attractive to you? Just a question for, for all the gay folks in the audience because why? I find this confusing. Anyway, here is Sam Smith uh, prancing on world tour. There are no audience age restrictions on the show, by the way. So all, all the wonderful Democrat parents who think that, that the four in 10 Democrats who, who think that it's appropriate for children to attend drag shows, they can be perfectly happy attending a satanic, a satanic strip show with, with obese man, Sam Smith. Good guy. It's just funny at this point. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, stop being funny. Now it's just, uh. Uh. Oh, no. Uh. Okay, guys, this is what you're doing to the culture. Really? Well, well done. Now, this is what this is what woke does to the culture throughout, by the way. Just destroy all standards of beauty, decency, truth. All of those things must go, which is presumably 
why don't you end up with um, Lizzo doing a selfie video in which she explains that she is the new standard for beauty. Nope. Just going to go, nope. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's going to be a no from me. I just finished showering and doing my little routine. And you know what I realized? I am gorgeous. I am the beauty standard. Catch up. Okay, so first of all, the narciss- when did narcissism become like an amazing thing? When did it become like a great thing? It, it's pretty, pretty amazing that narcissism has just become like the, the hallmark of decency. But also, is this the new standard for beauty? Because I feel like not. Yeah, that's that's what beautiful looks like. I mean, I, I got I got to admit, my standard of beauty was not actually Slimer from Ghostbusters. But apparently that's the new beautiful is Slimer from Ghostbusters. Got, mm, not so much. It, it, you make your, she made her beauty the issue. I didn't, okay? If you just, if you proclaim, I've never proclaimed myself the world's best looking person because that's absurd. When she proclaims herself the world's best looking person when she is objectively not in like the top 85%, that's not my fault. That That's her fault. But this is, this is what we do, right? Wokeness means that you can never have judgments. Judgments are bad. Except they're judgment of you if you actually have standards. The only true non-judgmentalism is to judge everybody who has actual standards when it comes to the real meaning of terms, like, say, beauty or decency for children or man or woman. All standards must be absolutely exploded. That's the only way you end up with the conclusion that Lizzo is somehow, you know, the height and standard for for human beauty. Good good stuff. And we're creating a better culture for our kids, guys. It's it's all going to be just fine. All righty, guys, the rest of the show is continuing right now. You're not going to want to miss it. We'll be talking with Heather McDonald. She's a brand new book out all about the meritocracy being destroyed by wokeism. If you're not a member, become a member. Use code Shapiro at checkout for two months free on all annual plans. Click that link in the description and join us.